Right off the bat, let me just say that I could not be more excited for the direction it feels like the hunting horn is taking in Rise. It feels like they somehow made the horn more fluid, while simultaneously giving each hit so much more weight to it. The additions that we can take away from this mini showcase seems to be really impactful and are welcomed. So let me just get this out of the way. The spin is back. That was literally the number one thing that I wanted to have in Rise and it's been 100% confirmed. There was so much going on in this video but we had to start there. The damage potential of the hunting horn skyrockets and plummets depending on whether you have this move or not. The amount of hits you get and just how potent each of those ticks can be is crucial to staying competitive with other weapons. It looks as if it's still a follow-up move like it was in Iceborne, which it pretty much has to be for it to make sense and have a fluid motion. This really gives us a solid chance of getting our Echo Waves and Bubbles back as well. Now it gives you that note aura surrounding your character, so whether it's a buff in itself or just an indication of a special note, we'll have to wait for the demo to know for sure. Next we'll talk about a move that typically was tied to the spin because the note you get from doing the spin was necessary to load up these. Echo Waves. It looks as if you anchor or tether the wire bug to the monster and then actually send vibrations through the wire itself and explode with seismic sound right where the bug itself is anchored. The potential for knockouts is going to be nothing short of incredible. I'm a tad bit bummed that this wave attack is tied to the wire bug, but I'd rather have that than not have any kind of wave attack at all. But the more I watch this and see that the name is actually Earthshaker and not Echo Wave or Impact Wave, the more I'm thinking we will have separate Echo Wave attacks. I cannot put accurately into words how insanely good it would be to have the spin and Echo Waves in our arsenal. Iceborne did wonders for the weapon and to have both of the greatest improvements would be absolutely game changing. Now we're going to talk about the wire bug move that seems to not only be good for mobility, but also acts as somewhat of a counter. We see the hunter fly through a possible projectile that the Tetradon sent out and give the old one-two right in the kisser. Counter gameplay seems to be in line with a lot of the wire bug moves we're seeing in these showcases, so it seems that this is the counter move for the horn. Even if this wasn't a counter, I'm so for implementing anything that ramps up aggressive play. We get to see some high-flying hammer-esque damage from the sky to really add to the versatility of the weapon as well. Having this move to get right into a monster's grill is something I knew I would love, but seeing it in action has me salivating at the chance to use it. Not only that, but we can close the gap for the next move that I'm going to speak on that looks as if it has insane damage potential. So the next thing I want to go over is something I truly wasn't expecting, but absolutely love it. That super duper recital they play throughout the entire showcase. Now I know we had something like this with the Valor recitals, but this seems like that even improved further. My god, the amount of hits you get from this move is absolutely insane. Seriously, count with me how many hits are in this recital alone. What is it, like 5 or 6? Then you include the spin that follows up directly after and you have what around 9 hits? Did we turn into dual blades or sword and shield overnight or something? And with just how fluid it is, it seems like it's going to be a pretty solidly safe attack to use as well. It seems like it's a similar type of move to the spin in the sense that it's a follow up attack. Also known as the Dute Nato by our very own Christian Mingle, give you this note aura. With each of them giving a different color aura respectively. I'm curious as to what these are because it's not for showing what note you initiated, clearly, because that's done through a little puff of colored smoke shown here and here. It might be an indication that you've completed a special kind of note as it's shown after the Dute Nato and after they finish a spin attack. Maybe you get buffs from finishing them alone? I'm not too sure but all I know is that it's got me on the edge of my seat and I honestly cannot wait. From the footage, it seems like the horn is going to be more of a combo-oriented weapon now too. The way that they are flowing from swing to swing and transitioning from hit to hit so fluidly is a welcome implementation. You can see quite a few swings that we haven't really seen before if you look closely while they're weaving through the combos. I do have to say my favorite swing just might have to be this one right here. 
that's reminiscent of the hammer's home run swing. We've had somewhat of a combo flow before with the horn, but that was more so with the idle left and right swings, and with the Iceborne update, it was the spin, hilt, stab, spin combo. There's not a single swing or hit in the showcase that doesn't look like it won't be able to transition or flow directly into another attack, and that's beyond satisfying. Finally, would you take a look at that horn in some true high def? The Stone Basarios guitar has already become my favorite horn, and I have no idea what songs it will have or how it sounds when you play it, but I honestly don't care at this point. It's my favorite forever. I knew we would get some absolutely outstanding looking horns in the game, but the ones they've shown us so far between the Rock guitar and the Arzuros one, we have a lot to look forward to as horn users. I'll also say that I pretty much immediately plan on turning off the Hunter voices, but of all the showcases, this voice has definitely been the best. So to summarize, we got our spin back, we got an echo wave attack of sorts, and we very well could be getting our OG echo waves back. The horn now has what looks to be the most fluid and almost combo-esque attacks to give us a beautiful flow from swing to swing. We now have a recital move that is like the Valor recital on steroids that does an insane amount of hits and what we can only assume will be massive damage. The note auras we receive after the Dute NATO and the spin attacks are speculation as to what they are right now, but I absolutely want to know what you guys think in the comments below. I feel as if they're just an indication that you've completed and earned the note, but at the same time I have no idea what to expect after seeing this insane showcase. It truly feels like the hunting horn got a super sleek rework and everything I'm seeing gives me nothing but good vibes. Now there were so many of you talking about how great this showcase was and that you were going to main the horn, so I better see you putting your money where your mouth is come January during the demo. We still haven't seen a glimpse of the UI, so I still have quite a few questions waiting to be answered and some other thoughts waiting to be confirmed. But that's going to be it for this one. I'm super hyped that we're getting the spin back in some form of an echo wave and possibly the echo waves themselves. That super dance recital move and the note auras have me intrigued, so I guess we'll have to wait and find out just what they do in the demo. I'll be making videos on the other showcases as well, but I had to start with my first true love. Patreon and Discord links are in the description, so if you want to support the channel or join the Discord to continue to talk about Rise and all the new info, feel free to do so. If you liked the video, help me out by giving that like button a quick click. Comment down below what you think of the showcase and what else you want to see from the horn in Rise. Subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already for more Rise, Monster Hunter, and other gaming content. Reviews, streams, guides, and more. Deuce forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.